Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial on population. In today's uh, tutorial we're going to look at rapid population growth in a developing megacity. Okay? And the developing megacity we're going to look at is Hong Kong. Remember to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Exam Vision for You and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we're going to look at the developing megacity of Hong Kong. And just a quick little introduction. It's got a really high population density with over 25,000 people per per square kilometre. So that's the same as Calcutta that we looked at before, where Calcutta had 25,000 per square kilometre. This has actually just got a little bit over 25,000 per square kilometre in all the urban areas of Hong Kong. It's a very wealthy uh, country with a, GD a GMP of over $22,000. Uh, and it's in pursuit of um, gaining very rapid economic growth. Okay, so these are some of the problems that they face because of the huge uh, population density. It's the same as what we looked at in, in Calcutta, except this is a, a more developed economy. Um, but some of the problems are, are, are similar. Overcrowding, uh, apartment living, pollution, and there's a lack of open space. So overcrowding, the large amount of refugees from China live in shanty towns in the city. Um, boat people from Vietnam sought refuge and thousands now live in boats along the Hong Kong harbour. Uh, schools operate a, a two-shift day in order to accommodate students. Apartment living, there's many, many, many high-rise flats that are built to house the, the new people that move into the, to, to the city. Bed space apartments are really small. People sleep in, row, in rows of bunk beds two and three uh, tiers high. Pollution, there's loads of pollution, there's noise pollution, air pollution, visual pollution, noise pollution from the traffic and the people, there's abundance of litter and garbage in the streets from the industrial and domestic waste, and the, the bays and beaches are heavily polluted um, because of the, the algae. And the fourth reason, lack of open space, this is really um, particular in, in some of the cities such as Victoria. There's a lack of sunlight due to the high-rise buildings and new areas have been created under polder lands reclaimed from the bay. Okay, so that's it really quickly um, for the mega city uh, for Hong Kong. And as you can, what you can probably notice is that a lot of the, the problems and the knock-on effects is similar to what we've looked at before and everything is is, is quite is is, is quite uh, re relative like what you might learn in, in for a developed city in a developing city or maybe an effect of, of high population density it will be it will be quite similar if it's overcrowding or if it's um something to do with like lack of open space or pollution or whatever it might be but they are quite similar so remember you can use the same things um when you're answering your questions um if you liked my video, can you please uh, check out more videos on my website, examvision.ie? Can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Um, and can you please tell your friends and your classmates um, about, about my channel? Because I want to try to get out there and, and let people know. Because this is uh, free to use. And I think it is really beneficial um, for geography students that are, that are studying for the, for the junior certificate. And if you, you, you did like it, can you let me know? Can you leave some comments and in in some feedback, please? I, really, I love hearing some of the, the feedback. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and you can you can post to us there if you want, and and leave us some feedback if you thought something helped you. Thanks, guys.